like my hat is covered in oil. I'm filthy. Uh, this video is just one big fail video, just giving you a heads up. But I've decided to post everything, the good, bad, and the ugly. This video is definitely bad and ugly, but I'm gonna post it anyway. Hope you like the video. All right, so today was supposed to be the big day. I was supposed to take it home, and uh, you know, it looks fucking awesome. The turbo isn't bolted up right now. I'll explain here in a second. Got the hood exit, it's pretty much dead center. But basically, when I was trying to take it home, it just started basically pouring oil out of the exhaust. Insanely bad, it went all over the engine bay. It's all over the hood. It's on the windshield, it's everywhere. It just an insane amount of oil was coming out of the out of the exhaust out of the turbo. Um so I think my drain was too small, so I got some bigger hose, bigger diameter to try uh, and drain it better. But there might the turbo might be too low. That might be an issue, but I'm not sure yet. I'm not gonna condemn it uh as being too low just yet. I'm gonna try and put a bigger drain and angle it better and see if I can kind of fix the issue like that. But the reason I, I dropped the turbo is I dropped it and I started it just to make sure the motor itself was not smoking and it's not, it is fine. Zero smoke coming out of the, the manifold itself. It's all out of the turbo. So I got some uh, fresh oil. I'm gonna top it off and try and rig up the drain because I really want to get this home this weekend. Worst case scenario, I could always put my stock uh, log back on there and just put the GC35 in the log so I can have a longer drain and see if that fixes the issue. But for now, I'm going to try and rig up the, uh, the, the drain line on the bottom. All right, I got the turbo bolted up. I mean, the setup looks freaking sweet. If As long as I can just make it not burn oil insanely bad. Let me show you how well they line up the, uh, the hood exit. I love the way it looks. Uh, check it out. It's like pretty much center. It, yeah, it's pretty close to being center, and I really like how it's in series like that. Because sometimes, most of the time, like side by side, not really uh, straight up and down like that. So I'm really liking the way that looks. But let me show you what the car's doing, because this is the same setup as when it was smoking earlier. So let me show you how bad this thing smokes. We're gonna crank it up. It's insanely bad. Just real quick, I don't want to get it too hot because I'm going to be working on it. Yeah, that's pretty bad. That's not gonna fly. Maybe the oil is getting backed up and causing it to build up in the turbo. It's already starting to get dark. Uh, time's, time's actually flying. I don't have much daylight left. But so far what I've done is I clocked the turbo to give the, the drain a better, better shot at the oil pan before it was kind of facing forward. So I had to go and then turn back and put a little bit of kink in the, in the drain. So now it's just gonna be smooth, a, a smooth transition into the oil pan to give it the best chance of working. And I'm gonna go ahead and put uh, the larger hose to drain it, and I'm gonna fire it up and see if it smokes. Uh. Alright, so I got the larger diameter hose installed. Let me show you the, the angle I'm doing with here. Yeah, it goes up just barely. It's basically maybe two inches higher than being level. So this piece of hose is a straight shot, and it curves up like maybe two inches. So before this hose, it was, uh, man, I don't know the diameter, it was way smaller than that. And basically, I had what I had to do is get a small hose and then adapt it to a, the larger fitting in the pan. But here, it's a large hose all the way to the turbo, and it's adapted down smaller at the turbo. So maybe that smaller hose is backing up the oil. I don't know. I'm gonna I'm gonna crank it up and just hope to God it doesn't burn oil like that. I'm sure there's still oil in the turbo, so I'm gonna have to let it burn off before I can really tell if it's working or not. I'm gonna go and fire it up. Jesus, I am so. What if my back's dirty? Yeah, this is dedication. I swear I'm trying to get this car back. I know a lot of y'all have been missing the build. I'm trying my hardest to get it back on the road, I swear. Where are my keys? For
before it was smoking really bad even at idle I think I might be clearing up I don't know yet it's, it's too early to tell now again there's gonna be a lot of oil in the pipes and the turbo there's oil everywhere so it might have to burn that off before we can really tell if it's if it's good to go or not I guess that wasn't a fix I'm gonna have to show you exactly what it's doing and how bad it's spitting oil out of the turbo. I, fl I gave it some gas and it seriously just like geysered out of the fucking hood. Uh, yeah, before it gets completely dark, I'm gonna do it one more time just to show you because it, it'll make for a good video. But it's funny, but also not funny because the car's still not fixed. All right, you've got to check this out. This is This is actually kind of amazing. Actually, kind of nice look. Kind of looks like it's, uh, I don't know, kind of puking everywhere. It's on the windshield, it's on the roof. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Did it make it to the back? Uh, no, nah, not quite. It made it right here. I almost want to see if I can make it squirt over the car. <laughs> Oh my gosh. So there's a small chance that there's leftover oil in there from whenever the, the smaller hose was hooked up. So I'm going to let it run for like 10 minutes just to see if it clears up any. I'm just, I don't know what else to do. You know, I'm kind of curious to see what happens when you hit the wipers on a windshield full of, uh, full of oil. <laughs> Let's see what happens. Nice. <laughs> I can see perfect now this is kind of how I see without my glasses on I guess I have 5w30 vision seems to be getting worse not better hopes are dwindling It's bad enough that I have to drive around with the hood exit, but can you imagine going down the road like this? Looking like a locomotive. Alright, that's enough fell for one day. I'm going to come back tomorrow, and I guess I'm going to put the log on. Uh, just mount the GT35 onto the log to rule out the turbo being too low. So if it still smokes on the log way up high, then it's the turbo, not the location of the turbo. So I'm just trying to think of ways to kind of... Uh, diagnosis thing and pinpoint the exact problem why it's a 530 geyser um, but yeah I'm gonna go ahead and call it a night so it's, it's getting too dark to let this car running I'm like behind an apartment complex uh, but yeah uh, I'll probably do an update video tomorrow uh, with the log manifold but if you like this episode like and subscribe see you tomorrow